Hello everyone and welcome to the Digimon Dreamers video. This time I'm going to be translating and talking about chapter 17 which is in the March issue of Psyche or Jump. So let's get into it. Uh, we do have the, uh, the bonus being some stickers with various franchises. Unfortunately nothing from Digimon Dreamers which is a shame but uh, you've got other franchises which are the fairly popular ones. But uh, yeah, shame there's no Digimon Dreamers uh, stickers in there, because I would have really thought that was cool. Anyway, so we do have a few pages of uh, adverts, basically Next Order, which comes out this month, this month being February, and of course uh, BT13, which also comes out soon, Digimon Con, which was just the other day, with a quick overview of what to expect. I did already cover this in my predictions video about what it says, but basically the event went uh, with the same amount of contents that was said here, so there weren't any, uh, there wasn't anything that this left out. It did say just next order in the game segment, and that's what the game segment turned out to be. So there weren't any like surprises in terms of things that weren't mentioned. Uh, we did, of course, get the Digimon Seekers announcement, which is uh, which is pretty exciting. And there's also the 25th anniversary book with Digimon device and dot history, which is coming out soon. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, there's also this manga here, which I need to... I only just uh, flicked through it because it was just the, the manga before Digimon Dreamers between that and the uh, adverts. And I need to go back to the previous issues of Psycho Jump because this looks pretty cool. It's called Zozo Zone, and uh, he has a little virtual pet. At least he does in in this issue, and it, it's it's just a virtual pet uh, volume. I I need to go back and uh, read the previous ones, but it's actually pretty cute. The characters are nicely designed. We've got a little birdie here, and then the bird goes evil, I guess, and then he. Uh, he ends up using his uh, virtual pet uh, to fight the bird and, uh, yeah, gets quite gruesome and then the bird is good again because the little kid likes it. And then he gets lo lots more virtual pets with, like, a Digimon, a little Kirby-looking one, a Tamagotchi. So he becomes a virtual pet fan. I just wanted to talk about that. But, uh, yeah, uh, never heard of this before. Kind of want to pick up the first volume of it. Maybe I'll see how much it is on the... Uh, Amazon Japan Kindle store because uh, yeah it looks pretty interesting anyway so chapter 17 we're storming the uh, Felesmon's castle and uh, again I love Tailmon I love how she's got a little Tamagotchi looking charm which is similar to uh, the other characters having their little Tamagotchi influence which is nice we have uh, the Bandai property seeping through we have uh, the castle here, which used to be the uh, castle where they would learn magic, but Felesmon's kind of made it into this very dark and daunting place because uh, he is evil. And we have Hero like, oh, this used to be the academy, and then how we know that Felesmon's made it look uh, kind of, yeah, dark and daunting, as I said. We get attacked by Evilmon slash Vilemon, depending on if you want to go with the English dub name or the Japanese name, and they fight off the uh, the evil mon, and then the earth starts shaking. And then we have Minutamon, who says how, he's like, ah, could you feel it? Could you feel the earth shaking in my presence? And then Pulsemon being, Pulsemon is like, wasn't that you just now who was shaking the earth? Then Minutamon's like, Whatever, who will be my opponent? And then Cyclomon kind of bursts in and attacks Leomon. And Leomon's like, ah, oh, so you'll be my, op my opponent, Cyclomon. And Minotomon's kind of a little bit annoyed, like, hey, you can't just jump in. You know, I, I wanted first dibs. Like, I guess no one really cares about poor Minotomon. He's like, Cyclomon, you can't just jump in like that. Then uh, Cyclomon and uh, Leomon are fighting. And then he's like, oh, oh, well then. And then Mojamon says that uh, he's going to fight the Dark Lizamon because it's going to be fire against ice. So they have a battle. And 
Yeah. Big fan of Mojimon, by the way. I've get I've, Mojimon's one of those Digimon that I have a pretty large amount of nostalgia for. Uh, mainly because of Digimon World, to be honest. But I just I I look at him and I'm just like I'm just it scratches the the good nostalgic parts. And poor Minotomon being ignored in the background there. And then Leomon tells the others to run for it, go for Felesmon's castle, and continue on. They'll basically hold off these bad guys. Minotomon's like, hey, wait, 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 wait a minute, which I'm starting to feel bad for Minotomon. Like, everyone else except for Numon's just fighting. And then Minotomon's like, oh, oh okay. And then Numon's like, ah, oh, so you'll be my partner. Uh, we, it's, we, we'll be, uh, no, 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 we're destined to, uh, to fight. Partner as in um, opponent, not partner as in partner. So he's like, what, what, what? And then we have Numon saying how he has a secret ability, his special power. And then we have his gross eye. And then he uses his poo attack. Because of course he does, because he's Numamon. And Minotomon looks fairly upset about this, but I mean, I would also be fairly upset if someone started pelting poo at me. And then the other characters are, uh, are fighting, while we have Wizamon, Pulsemon, Ritsu, and Tailmon in the back there, running to Felesmon's castle. And Ritsu's kind of like, oh, that, that was really cool. Like, he's kind of like a little. He, he thought that whole situation was fairly, fairly cool. And Tailmon kind of criticizes for it. Like, you know, that's. Wh why would you talk like that? They're kind of like fighting to the death and you're like swooning over them, basically. And then we have Devimon looking a bit like Venom. And he's kind of just growling. And Pulsemon still remembers that he was dropped out of the sky earlier and is kind of like, hey, you're the one who dropped me out of the sky, how dare you? Then Tailmon tells him to wait. Devimon's just kind of making, like, gross demon gurgly noises instead of, like, talking, as we previously had. Like, he's a lot more monstrous than before. And Devimon attacks him, which that that is such a cool, like, shot there. I don't know, it just looks really cool. And then we're like, oh no, Pulse. And then Pulsemon's like, why are you? And then he uses his Bulkmon fist, but Devimon's really fast. And again, he's kind of making his gross, uh, monstrous noises. He attacks, but uh, Wizamon's there to put up a force field. And they're all kind of saying how he's a lot more monstrous, a lot um, more stronger. He's like kind of going berserk. It's a lot uh, different from Devimon before. He's just kind of growling. He's not talking. He's just going grrr or sha 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 sha. He's kind of just making noises. And then we have Wizamon telling us about a power that the Digimon and Witchingly can use, which makes them 50% more powerful than their original state. Like it's kind of like unlocking this special uh, special power up. And that's what Devimon's done. He's become more monstrous and 50% more powerful. And then Ritsu's thinking about Ghostmon and how these Digimon are, are kind of punished by not learning magic because they can't unlock, like, any of these power-ups or any of these strengths because they can't learn magic, so they can't do that. And, yeah, so poor Ghostmon... And that's why magic's so important, because they have all these other abilities. And maybe this is why Felesmon is limiting to who, no, who well, banning magic learning, but not banning magic for his own. He's, it's so no one can oppose him. And it's called uh, Demon Shout. Like this, this special power that uh, Devimon is using, and he looks kind of horrific there. Like, they've done a really good job with drawing Devimon as slightly different from Devimon before. Like, he's definitely, like, looks like he's had a power-up. He looks slightly different, especially with, like, the Venom tongue. And they're not really sure how to proceed from here. And then the chapter ends. So, that's it for another month. So, ah. Uh, I'm just... 
I really want to know how many volumes they have in mind for this or how many chapters rather because I'm feeling like maybe next issue we'll fight Devimon and then after that, once we're done fighting Devimon, we'll fight Felesmon for maybe a few chapters. I am I think I had the prediction of like 24 chapters on the basis that the first volume had 12 chapters and I'm wondering if the second one would also have 12 chapters because I feel like I don't, I can't see it going any longer than that. I'm wondering if we have Digimon Seekers that's coming out uh, April, so that's I feel like they wouldn't want to have those two overlap too much because Pulsemon is appears to be one of the main ish characters, maybe supporting. He is on the poster, and uh, Pulsemon's also in this. It is nice to see Pulsemon getting love beyond the Vital Bracelet, even though Digimon Seekers is also using the Vital Bracelet. But uh, yeah, in any case, that was it for another month. I am I kind of want more like Witch and Lee lore. It is interesting that they have that power-up ability that's unique to Witch and Lee. It's kind of like how in the Virtual Pets for Magical Witches you can uh, do spells and power up that way, even though it's not really a fight. Uh, fighting one, you kind of just make spells. I'm I'm glad they're kind of expanding on that world. I still would like Magical Witches to either have a dim card or a, a re-release. Please, Bandai, please. But uh, yeah, that's it for another month. Let me know your thoughts about Digimon Dreamers or this chapter in the comment section below. Like this video for Pulsemon getting more love. Subscribe if you haven't already because... I really would like more subscribers. I think that'd be pretty cool. And maybe it'll help the algorithm push my videos a little bit more because the algorithm doesn't seem to like me. I had a comment on one of my Super CSA videos and, they, and someone said that, that I, they almost bought a Super CSA, but they had to really search for my video. It wasn't like the first one that came up when they, when they searched it, even though it was uh, more useful than all the other ones. So... Uh, I really hope the algorithm starts pushing my videos a little bit more because, according to this person, my videos are quite helpful. So that was really nice. So in any case, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have subscribed, please tell whomever you can, friends, neighbours, enemies, whatever. And yes, I will see you on the next video. Bye!